everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore, and I have another box to share with you. This one I really, really like. It's a monogrammed box, and it, it opens like a crayon box. But I used our Deco Labels um, framelits for this to get a little fancier edge. And this is real red with our stacked with love designer series paper which is in our occasions catalog you can still order that till june 2nd and i'm using our sophisticated serifs stamp set and it's a big stamp set but it looks like this and i'm going to use um this to make a friend some monogrammed little note cards and I thought this is this is going to be perfect for that. And it's for her birthday, but I'll probably video it because I really want you to see how the, these work. They're so pretty. So anyway, this is the stamp set we're using. So let's go ahead and get started with this. You're going to need a piece of 5 by 11 and a half inch card, uh, card stock. And this is the real red. You'll need a scrap piece of Whisper White for the monogram. And then this is again the Stacked with the Love Designer Series paper. This stack is really cute. And it's double sided with the red and white on one side and then it's got the black and white on the other side. So that this is all we're using for this. So let me go ahead and get the trimmer out. Make sure we're in focus here. And then the first thing we'll do is score on the long side at three and a half. And then at four and a half, at eight, and then at nine. And that's it on that side. On this side, we're going to score it at one. Make sure it's straight. You don't want your box to be crooked. And then at four. So that is it. So now we're ready to mat it and we're going to create our little flaps here. So let's go ahead and cut it first and we're going to cut up each one of these score marks to this four, first score mark here. And then you do on this box, it would fold a lot nicer when you clip a little bit off the edge there. So we're going to do that on each one of these. And then I am going to turn it around and do the exact same thing on this other side. This and now this is the shorter side. This is where the side you want to mat and you want to mat it before you put it through the big shot. So I'm just going to grab some snail. Sure the edges are all down and make sure your hearts are going in the right direction and we're going to go ahead and mat that and then I'm going to grab the big shot and show you how I make the little um, edge here on it so let me get the big shot and get it into frame here so you can see I need to turn it though so I can crank it okay so what we're going to do is you're going to use your magnetic plate. You're going to put that down with your regular plate here. And then we're going to set this right on the edge. And this will go right to the very edge here. Now you want to center it in the middle there so it's even. And what you're going to do is you are just going to put this plate, and I think I've showed, shown how to do this before. You're just going to put this plate, it'd be easier going this way, to as far as you want it to cut. So you want it maybe, I want to put this straight, so let's go straight, just above this little peak right here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold that and I'm going to run it through. So it is only going to cut that very edge. So let's 
put this down here again and see it only cuts that edge right there so now what we're going to do is at an angle you are going to just cut um, this edge right here I'm going to go from this way and you're going to cut it like on an angle to that edge right there do the same on this side right to the end So then it's going to look like that. So you have your little um, edge right there. These two I'm going to cut into a little bit more. So when it folds, it folds easier because this is going to flap over the top. So I'm going to cut a little bit more room for these to fold. So it'll look more like that. So now we're ready to put it together. So let me get my bone folder, sharpen all these score marks like we normally do because you want a nice, clean, crisp box. Okay, so now we're ready to put that together. We are going to put, I'm going to use Fast Fuse on this. Um, use your, your sticky strip or a stronger adhesive. You can use your Tombow, but I'm going to use the snail and this, I mean the fast fuse it will this fast fuse ha holds these boxes really well this one I did my other one with the fast fuse and it's holding together really well okay we're gonna put glue on the inside here and then we're gonna put it on this inside flap right here and I always put enough adhesive on there because you want it to stay when you give especially when you give them as gifts you don't want it to fall apart. So now we're going to pull this up. Pull these little flaps in. Attach those on the bottom like that. And then pull this up. And the reason I put it on this side is because you want that flap going forward. Because that's the front of the box. It's a lot cleaner looking. Okay, so let's put the top together now. We are going to just... Put adhesive right here and then we're going to glue that top down. I just want to make sure I have enough on here. And then you will just line those edges up there. And then what I want to do next is get my two and a half inch circle punch. You could do this before, but if it's in here, and I'm just going to make a little notch because I like the look of that. It looks professional. <laughs> and then we're ready to close up our box just like that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is grab my hole punch and I just eyeballed this to put in. Um, a couple holes so I just tried to make them even here so we have two holes right there grab my ribbon and this is our organza ribbon that I'm using on this so I want to make sure I have enough here Get the ribbon scissors out I'm gonna cut a little bit extra to make sure I have a nice bow Make sure these are even. And then just tie a bow in it. And you can see I don't need that much ribbon. I hate when I waste it, but <laughs> I just wanted to be sure I had enough in here and you can play with it until you got it looking exactly you know how you like it this ribbon's so pretty and then just cut your ends off and now we're ready to start stamping our little monogram so I'll set that aside and grab this 
And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just use some memento black. You can use whatever color you like, but I'm just going to use the memento black right now. And this one, I'm doing my initial. So you have the A, and then with the little flower, I'm using our Stampin' Write markers. This one is the real red, and I'm just doing the rose. And this is our marker to the stamp technique. Oh, I got a little fuzz on that to get that off. And what you do is you just take the Stampin' Write marker and you cover the stamp and this is the green let's see this one's mossy meadow it's really pretty this little rose accent and then when you're done doing getting it covered all the way what you want to do is you just huff on it give it some warm breath and then you set it down and you just So it looks like that. So cute. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and I'll just speed up the video for this so you don't have to watch me do it again. So we got that done and I'm using this label bracket punch and I'm just going to punch my initial out of that. I'm going to ink up the edges with some real red. I'm just gonna, I just gives it a little bit of extra. We're gonna put a hole in that with our smaller punch. I'm going to grab some of our white whisper white baker's twine we don't need that much and we're going to just attach it underneath this bow and I just put it underneath like all the ribbon and everything you you won't be able to see it so I want that in the center cut your edges off and you are done isn't that cute and it's not hard at all it's really one of those easy boxes to put together. Uh, here's my other one. This is actually my other granddaughter's initial too. <laughs> so, so I covered them both. <laughs> anyway, these are um, the two little uh, monogrammed flip top box. And I thought it really turned out cute. I really like this one. So I hope you enjoy the product project. If you need any of the products, go to my blog at stampingwiththemora.com and you can shop right from my blog. Also, the retiring list for Stamping Up is live. So you can go to my blog and look up the retiring products. It's up to 50% off on all their, uh, the stamps that are retiring, all the anything that's the retiring punches, ribbon, everything. And all the in colors for 2013-15, which are some of my favorite colors, which I'm going to really miss, those are all going to be gone. So if you want those, you need to go and order them now before they are all gone. <laughs> so anyway, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the project. Have a wonderfully blessed day, and I will see you all next time. Bye.